When you're just starting out in kayaking, you might hear the names of all these different great rivers and you're saying to yourself, you know, which one is right for me? Well, in general, when you're starting out, you're going to want to stick to class one, maybe class two rivers, so that that will be safe for you. A way to do this is look for a local shop and find a guidebook to your, the rivers in your area, or possibly a whitewater website, such as AmericanWhitewater.org. This way, you're going to be able to not only find the class one and class two rivers, but also directions for the put in, the take out, water levels, everything else you're going to need to get you started. If you feel like running more class two, class three whitewater, might be a good idea to find somebody who has experienced that stretch of river before until you have a really solid role and a little bit of an experience behind you. One of the basic rules in paddling is that we never paddle alone. So this presents a dilemma. How do I find other people to go paddling with? Well, when you're just starting out, it's best to go to your local kayaking shop. These guys are going to have the name and address of some kayaking schools in the area or possibly even just a boating club. You can go to the monthly meetings, you can possibly go to a roll clinic, but also you're going to meet other people in your area who might want to go paddling on the same river as you do. And that makes it a lot more fun. Anytime you're coming to a river, you get to the put-in, you meet the people you're going to paddle with. Once you decide that you are actually going to paddle down the river with these people, you are all tied together. And some, there's a lot of things you need to consider before you go. For instance, how strong are the paddlers in the group? If you haven't paddled with some of the people on this particular river, or especially if you've never paddled with them at all, you need to talk about what class of paddler they are, what sort of skills they possess, what sort of river signals they're going to use, and what sort of rescue skills they've experienced and practiced in the past. If you're going down a run with people you don't know, in general, I want to be on a much, much more secure run for my abilities. If I'm going to be pushing my abilities that day, I want to go with a group that I know and trust and have paddled with before. That way, all I'm pushing is my skills and I know that I'm not pushing their rescue abilities. Something else to consider when you're paddling a river, we are all tied together. If you're a really strong paddler and some other member of your group is having trouble, you're all going to get to the takeout at the same time anyway. There's no point in blazing ahead, running harder lines, or challenging yourself even further when some members of your group are having trouble. It's a team sport. If you're the stronger paddler, you should be helping the weaker paddlers. Show them the safest line down the rapids. Help them portage their boats. And if you're the weaker paddler, let someone know that you're feeling uncomfortable with what's going on so that you can arrive as a group at the takeout before sundown.